Alright guys, I just got this package from geekbuying.com uh, I ordered this beautiful device plus uh, one more um, USB to LAN adapter, again Tronsmart branded uh, that I needed for another box but this one I really wanted to open in front of you guys and show you um, I was really excited about this one, saw it on their site um, I kinda had my eye on it for a long long time before and finally decided to give it a try I mean um, why not the price is great um, unfortunately for me um, you know I got it a little bit more expensive than it's right now I paid around seventeen dollars and currently this Tron Smart Air, Air Mouse and Keyboard Combo is uh, retailing for thirteen dollars at, uh, at geekbind.com so I'm gonna leave uh, a link to, to, to it uh, down in the um, a description section so those of you that want to grab that uh, these these days can go ahead and get that so let me just go ahead and, and show it to you guys so as you can see uh, Tronsmart pretty well established company in the Chinese market by the way they produce a lot of uh, uh, TV boxes media streamers whatever you're gonna call them uh, pretty solid they have uh, many different accessories including these kind of uh, air mouses um, this one is wireless as you can see 2.4 gig uh, gigahertz um, frequency it can be used on pretty much anything smart TVs, PCs, <coughs> notebooks, Android uh, TV boxes uh, obviously this is the main reason I got this one but I'm gonna actually test it on uh, PC as well and show it to you uh, on you know on the box there's a picture pictures of the device serial numbers and whatnots uh, on the back as you can see <coughs> There is a small picture on the back side of the, the device with the keyboard is. Uh, a little bit more specifications. If you guys want to read that, just pause the video and read them. I'm going to go ahead and open it because I'm very excited. Uh, by the way, uh, the package came for um, geek buying definitely less than 10 days, probably a week, and, and it's coming from China. So I was really impressed with that delivery time. Uh, normally I'm setting my mind for uh, a month delivery from China, but this one came uh, very fast and is giving me trouble opening, but I'm going to try my best. And there you go. Uh, nothing else in the box. Let me close the box and put it right here uh, to the side. Uh, on the back of the box, it's kind of like a you know pocket situation. We have the uh, micro USB uh, to normal USB cable, and this one is actually used uh, to charge the remote or air mouse. Uh, it has a built-in uh, lithium battery, which is great. You don't have to use any double A's or triple A's. Uh, I'm not sure how long it's going to last, but I'm going to give you an update on a future video. And, and give you an update how long actually one charge lasts. I'm expecting probably about a week or two. It really depends on how you use the device, but uh, uh, that's my experience with at least the one, the M1 from, from Minix that I have. A uh, little quick uh, description here, a uh, little uh, printed uh, instructions with the picture of the device, kind of a long picture of the device <laughs> uh, with a buttons and and what else is go it's going on on it uh, but yeah if you want to read it pause again if not uh, when you order your device you will have plenty of chance to read that um, I'm probably going to briefly go over it and see uh, how can I familiarize myself better uh, of the options and let's go ahead and open it uh, you can see this is the receiver quite tiny uh, very reminiscent to what uh, Logitech are using for their uh, devices, their mouses or, or keyboards. So uh, I'm I'm glad this is uh, this is tiny, so it will not be sticking out on the back of uh, your device um, quite intrusively. Uh, let me get that air mouse out. It's actually pretty tiny. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised how how small it is. I was expecting it to be bigger, to be honest. But uh, not that I'm complaining. I really like that. And here's the keyboard on the back um, as you can see all the letters are here we have enter we have uh, arrows we have everything we need I'm not sure how convenient it will be to type but I'm definitely gonna test and tell you um, and uh, yeah uh, here we have probably a, an IR blaster in case we use it as an IR I'm not sure I guess I'll, I'll have to read this one uh, on this side we have the volume rocker, you can adjust the volume, and the micro USB outlet where you can actually 
plug your cable and charge it. Uh, kind of a glossy plastic. Uh, it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, which already is, I'm assuming. Yeah. But again, I don't, I don't really care. And you can see it blinks uh, when you press the buttons because it's probably trying to connect to the receiver, but that's not happening. The um, round circle and the buttons are rubber, uh, which is pretty good. Pretty solid quality, actually. I mean, it feels feels really solid and really sturdy in, in hand. And you can see left button, red button. We have a home, and then we have this rocker um, plus enter in the middle, uh, which, um, yeah, I'm assuming it's uh, it's going to work work fine. Um, just one thing I notice, uh, maybe it's only on mine, the enter writing is actually a little bit offset of the, ten the center, but uh, you know, uh, I, I hope that's the only problem. I really don't care about that that much. Um, and yeah, and the buttons on the back are rubberized and nice. The only problem, or not problem really, but uh, the only thing that I would love to uh, have is uh, backlit keys on this one, because if you use it in a dark environment, uh, your bedroom, you know, media room, or whatever it is, uh, you, that will be helpful. But hey, for uh, you know, seventeen or thirteen dollars right now, you can't expect uh, too much. Um, there's a few other ones out there uh, made by Transmart and some other companies. Uh, they offer the backlit. Uh, I'm probably going to grab one of those in the future and show it to you guys. Uh, there's a few models uh, that provide a little bit more functionality, but this one, as a beginning, I think it's good. I'm gonna try to use it in my uh, X2 box and a few other ones and show it to you guys. Just a quick comparison. This is uh, a comparison to a wallet. As you can see, pretty small. Comparison to Galaxy S5. Again, pretty, pretty small uh, and actually quite uh, slim as well. Um, and yeah, um, let me jump in and show you how it works. Uh, with the Android device and maybe I'll show you how it works with uh, PC as well. Stay with me. Alright and I'm back with the testing on my bedroom TV. As you can see we have the Transmart connected to the B-Link X2 uh, right there and this is the latency you're getting. It's pretty responsive in my opinion. I think um, mouse functionality is pretty good. We have the um, of course left button click so if I go to the um, settings let's say you know click that it opens right away and you probably can see me here in the back hello uh, so and then you know home button go back and of course on the back we have the keyboard so we can type and you know easily go uh, let's see if I open the uh, any of these I can do a search maybe right there and then type anything right here maybe Angry Birds Angry typing is pretty good hit enter and it searches right away so pretty good functionality I try every single button on the keyboard in the back and it works with no problem and same goes if you want to use the uh, little you know four way um, arrows here on a circle you can do that as well I still haven't figured out a way to turn off the mouse, mouse pointer when you don't need it if you leave the remote idling for a while it turns off by itself but then once you touch any button it comes back on so I'm not sure how can I turn it off uh, in case I don't want to use it I just want to use the uh, four directional pad so yeah I'll have to figure that out uh, somehow but uh, you know, overall, I think uh, it works pretty good, in my humble opinion. Uh, and oh, by the way, I figured out what's the what's the button on the top. That's the IR, IR blaster. That's actually power button. Actually, if you um, keep th saying actually, if you press that, uh, your box will turn off. So just be careful. Um, so uh, this is with uh, for Android, and I'll be right back with uh, PC. And here we are with PC, as you can see, the Transmart Air Mouse working perfectly well. I didn't need any installation, any drivers or anything. You know, right mouse click works perfectly well, left mouse as well. I can go here, launch some programs. Um, everything works great. Keyboard functions as well. Um, again, no installation needed. So. Uh, Windows 10. If you're running Windows 10, I'm not sure about earlier versions. Uh, I only have Windows 10 in, in all my computers, but uh, 
with Windows 10 everything works perfectly well uh, opens everything as you can see uh, being you know close open programs uh, and basically replace a big uh, keyboard which I'm actually using with this PC um, and this is what I use normally my uh, wireless uh, Microsoft keyboard and it's a combo mouse pad and keyboard but uh, this is a great great replacement in my opinion and works perfectly well so yeah again uh, guys uh, for 17 or 13 dollars right now um, it's it's pretty good deal in my opinion so if you uh, really are looking for this kind of functionality with PC or uh, Android boxes go ahead and grab one from uh, geekbuying.com I'm gonna leave again the link to the product down in the description and again, if you like the video hit the thumbs up uh, and I will see you on the next one you guys have a wonderful day